guys welcome back okay so today i decided to go ahead and play around with a couple more of the juvia's little mini palettes that she just released and i decided to pair these two palettes together so the nudes palette along with the chocolates palette because um as you guys know if you've seen these palettes the nude palette is very light very fair it doesn't really appear to be too brown girl friendly as far as creating a complete look but what i did notice about this palette is that it has some absolutely gorgeous shimmers in here and that i definitely can use this to set my lid and as a transition shade so i definitely went in and used this palette for the shimmers that i have on my lid today and of course I went in and deepened this eye look up with the chocolates palette. This is what the chocolates palette looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, these palettes are not necessarily my stilo, as they say, <laughs> because you guys know I'm a color fiend. But with using these palettes, you can definitely create a beautiful, elegant, everyday look, date night look prom wedding whatever your cup of tea is for this type of look a lot of people like to do smoky eyes and things like that on the regular so these palettes combined together used as one unit i think it's a great idea to kind of pair these palettes together so that's what i did today now i really don't have much to say because i love juvia's formula this is pretty consistent to me with her formula and I had no issues really with creating this look today. So I'm going to go ahead, do some swatches for you guys, and then we can jump into this look. So I'm going to start out swatching the nudes palette. So as you can see, this last shade here is basically my exact skin tone. <laughs> That's why you can't see it. So these are the shadows from the Nudes palette. Very pretty. And what I wanted to also say about this Nudes palette is you can definitely use this if you like to do like all matte looks like I do. And you kind of like to have that gradient where it goes really, really bright to really dark. You can also use these two palettes to do that for an all matte look if you're not sure if you can use these lighter shades. Now let's go ahead and swatch the chocolates palette. So this is the chocolates palette swatched. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shades. I mean, if you like these tones in an eyeshadow palette, you will love this palette because it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It creates a very nice smoky eye or natural eye, but these shimmers, this one here and this one here, oh my gosh, they are beautiful. And this shade here, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. So I really, really like this chocolates palette. <laughs> but like I said, I really enjoyed pairing these two palettes together. So if you'd like to see how I created this look today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so to get started with this look today, as usual, I am prepping my lids using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And I'm just using a rounded brush to kind of tap that all over my lid to make sure it's placed down nice and even. And I'm not going to set this base at all. So to start out, I'm going into the Nudes palette and I'm using shade number six. And basically I'm using this to kind of set that base down right under my brow bone. As you can see, you can't really see this shade at all on me. Um, if I built it up, you'd be able to see it just a very small amount, but you can't see it. So it's nice to kind of use that to set down my base and place it just under my brow bone for a highlighting effect. Now I'm going into the chocolates palette 
And I'm taking shade number four, which is this gorgeous, pretty, I don't know what kind of brown that is, but it is so pretty to me. And I'm using this as my main crease, crease color. So I'm just tapping that in my crease and blending it out. It's very nicely pigmented. I didn't have any issues with pigmentation on this. I just took my time blending it and building it up. I think this color would be a very nice all over the lid shade. If you wanted to just place it down and blow it out, it would look really pretty. Now I'm going into shade five out of the chocolates palette. And I started out using a fluffy brush to kind of blend out the edge of that darker shadow. But it wasn't really blending out the way I wanted it to. And it wasn't because of the shadows because I was using the wrong brush. So I went ahead and got a more dense blending brush and used that to kind of diffuse the edge of that darker eyeshadow. And this shadow laid down very nicely as well. As you can see, it's blending out very easily, giving me a nice gradient look. Now I'm using shade number one out of the Chocolates palette and just kind of gently tapping that in the crease area and in the outer corner, just to kind of deepen this look up a little bit. I didn't want it to get too, too dark, so I just used just a small amount to deepen up the crease area and the outer corner. Now going back into the Nudes palette, I'm taking shade number one, which is a gorgeous shimmer. I started out by spraying my brush, but I soon realized that I did not like how the shimmer laid down when I sprayed the brush. It was much, much brighter and more vibrant when I just used it dry. So with these shimmers, I definitely feel like if you want a nice bright pop, going in dry is perfectly fine. That's what I did after I realized I didn't want to spray anymore. I just kind of tapped it on there dry and you can see how bright and vibrant that shadow looks. So, so pretty. Now going back into the chocolates palette, I wanted to use this darker shimmer on the outer portion of my lid. So I just took a flat brush, went in dry and I'm placing that right next to that gold shimmer. I didn't even want to bother trying it wet <laughs> after what I experienced with the gold. I felt like I could use this one dry as well. And so that's what I did. And as you can see, it is very nicely pigmented. Very, very pretty. Laid down nice and easy. Now I'm just going back in with a little bit of that darkest brown shade and just kind of deepen in that outer corner, making sure everything is blended nicely together. Now I'm going in with some of my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just creating a nice wing for this look today. I didn't want anything too drastic so I tried to keep it nice and simple. I'm gonna go in and finish my complexion offline and, or should I say off camera, and I'll come back and we can finish up this lower lash line. So now that my complexion is complete, I wanna go back in. I'm using my Milani black pencil liner and just using that to line my lower lash line. I wanna keep this look nice and simple and just a little bit smoky today. So I'm going back into the chocolates palette, taking that dark brown shade number one, using a fat pencil brush to just kinda of smoke out my lower lash line trying to be careful not to go down too far i'm going back into shade number four that gorgeous brown shade and i'm just using that to further smoke out underneath that dark shadow just to kind of bring the same shades that i used on my upper lid down to my lower lash line 
Now going back into the nudes palette, I'm taking shade number five. And on this one, I did wanna spray my brush because I wanted to see how bright it could get. And it really popped nicely, tapping that into my inner corner for that pop today. For mascara, I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics Cosmetics Mascara on my upper and my lower lashes. And for lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade BFF4. It's just a nice brown shade. And for my lipstick, I'm using my ColourPop and Shayla Matte Lipstick in the shade Slow Down. And I'm just placing that into in the center of my lips, creating a nice gradient. And topping that off with some e.l.f. lip gloss. This is my Mocha Twist lip gloss from e.l.f. Of course, I'm going to set this look with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this is the look for today, you guys. Very simple, very easy. Yet, those shimmers on the lid really make the eyes pop. So... I really hope that you like this look. I like these palettes. I'm actually glad that I purchased the chocolates and the nudes instead of passing on the nudes because they pair excellently together. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!